coming up on today's show, we celebrate the last day for seniors. Stay tuned, you're watching Roar TV. Good afternoon, Oviedo. I'm Davis Cruz, and today is Wednesday, May 12th, 2021. Seniors, it's the last day, so today's show is all about you. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from Monday's Stadium Lighting and Parade. Monday night, the seniors had a chance to participate in a parade and stadium lighting event to celebrate their year coming to an end. We want to congratulate the class of 2021 on all of their accomplishments. Um, I'll probably say the connections I've made. I mean, my friends, the baseball team specifically. You know, um, I really am going to miss these guys. They're, they're like my brothers to me. I'm going to miss both the teachers. Yeah, like Miss Finnegan, Mr. Cap, my Miss Charcap, and Miss Huffman. My favorite memory, it would have to be um, the bus rides. The bus rides were the best. That's where I made some friends. And a lot of things happen on there, uh, debates about stuff, um, a lot of stuff like that. I'm going to miss all my friends that I made here all throughout four years, and I'm going to miss the flow of the weather. I'm going to play softball at St. John's and study criminology, and I'm going to room with my friends from high school, and after that I'm going to transfer to a four-year university. Well, I'm going to miss... Um... Man, just coming to class with my friends, seeing them every day, uh, having fun on the weekends, cracking jokes with some buds. Um, you know, just uh, fun stuff to do when you don't have as much responsibility, I guess. So. Uh, probably my favorite high school memory is uh, playing basketball with the team here, um, especially with the Lake Mary game. That was a lot of fun. Um, got, got a few dunks in that game. Uh, really got a chance to see like everyone on the team play. and. Uh, just had a great bonding moment at that time. Plan on going to Florida Gulf Coast to pursue a, a degree in education with um, a major in education and a minor in English and special education. I don't know, I'm going to miss like the pep rallies, the football games, just all the events that everyone goes to and has a good time at. My best memories at Oviedo High School are probably getting the opportunity to hang out with some of my closest friends each and every day here at school and then also just being a part of a baseball program and being successful, just like the program here at Oviedo for four years. Uh, my favorite memory at Oviedo is probably winning the state championship uh, for swimming my sophomore and junior year. I'm gonna miss definitely the people. Um, I've loved my time here. Uh, it's a great environment. Mm, probably, probably Mr. Dove's class in automotive. Um, over there, we, you know, we did a lot of work on stuff uh, with like, you know, lots of different vehicles, a lot of different times, and you know, it was a lot of fun. I'm gonna miss uh, my friend Sheena. Well, I know we're not gonna be able to see every, uh, see each other every day, but you know, she, she my dog. You know, I hang with her every day, and we never switched up since sixth grade. So that's like my only friend here, to be honest. My favorite memory at Oviedo has probably been senior skip day at the beach and going to the Lundy's and Friday night, like football games after pep rallies and just seeing everyone in our grade together and everyone having a really good time. Backpacks will not be allowed on the last days of school from May 24th through May 26th. NHS officer elections have been open and will stay open until Sunday, May 16th at midnight. Before we go, the cornerstone of a high school experience is the bond we form with our teachers who have guided us throughout these past four years. We wanted to share some of our seniors talking about their favorite teachers here at Oviedo. My favorite teacher is Ms. Robertson. 
because, you know, chemistry or science in general wasn't my favorite subject, but she makes it, made the class fun, and it was actually, it actually made me look forward to science for once in a long time. Uh, my favorite teacher here would probably be Mr. Schultz because he helps a lot of students come out of their shell and become who they really are and he helped me personally make more friends than I had. Um, he cares a lot about all of his students, no matter if you talk a lot or if you're the quietest person in class. My favorite teacher this year is Miss Finnegan, who teaches um, AP, Lan AP Lit. Um, I, I think she's like nice and easygoing. She makes her class easy and fun to learn, grabs each of our students' attention, as well as making funny jokes as well to make it, you know, exciting and more forward-looking for it. <laughs> My favorite teacher here is uh, Mr. Channing. Uh, he's uh, the band director here at Oviedo. The reason is because he's always been there for us uh, since the beginning, since my freshman year. He was a tech, but now he's our he's our band director. Um, he's made so he's done a lot of things for us, like uh, especially this year with COVID and all. He's uh, he let us have a, we were able to have a uh, marching season because of him. We were able to have an MPA because of him. And everyone in the band is just so grateful for him. I'm very grateful for him, and he's just a, a great teacher. Now this is a very tough decision because I think the school has such a good quality of teachers where it's hard to just pick a single one. But I think I'd like to recognize Ms. House for this, who taught me for AP United States History. Because she, I, I was just very excited to go in and learn about the history and the culture of this country. And she made it very entertaining. She allowed us to have discussions. She was open to everyone's opinion. And she was just, um, a very good example of a good teacher. Seniors, we did it. This is it. Congratulations to everyone on making it all the way through. We have some exciting times ahead of us. I'll see you guys at graduation next week. For one final time, go Lions!